Here's the Pelican Air Pelican Air series of cases. This is the Pelican Air 1525. I believe this is the one that the size the maybe the the if this isn't the biggest size, it's close to the biggest size that you could bring on an airplane. I had this for a while, but now I'm going to use this for my stills camera to travel with. And I bought the insert. I just bought this insert that's made for, from Pelican for the 1525. And I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna migrate my uh, previous travel. This is my previous travel case for video and for stills. This one's I'm gonna use for stills. Here, I just came back from a shoot. Um, I was on a road trip, but this is what I would take on a plane. Here's my Canon, a lot of my Canon gear that I use for photography. I was doing headshots on this job, so this is this this is the gear I, I brought for to do headshots. Um, it, it packs it, it packs a lot of stuff. There was a lot of stuff in here, and I don't think I need all of this for my next gig that I'm going to be traveling for. So here's the Pelican. I'm going to just pack it up, and this video is just going to be what I can pack in to this Pelican Air, the 1525, and. I guess I'll, as I'm doing it, I'll, I'll show some of my gear off. And that's all this video is gonna be. I forget how much the case costs itself. I think it's around 250, uh, maybe $300 if you got, uh, depends on the inserts that you got. When I originally bought the Pelican Air here, uh, I got it with the foam, in, the, the pluck foam. And I did have it with the pluck foam and I did use it for a, a, a specific production purpose. But the thing about those pluck foam, once you pluck it out and then you want to insert other stuff in that is different sizes, you either have to get new, a completely new insert, pluck insert, or you got to fendangle. You got to get the, the inserts and you got to make them work with super glue or something. But here's what this insert looks like. For this model, this was about $110. And it comes just like this. It, it also came with this top foam the egg crate foam as well. So you almost you have two. I have two now. I have a I have a backup of that. I was looking for a a, a top, a lid that has pockets, but they don't sell Pelican doesn't make it for this model. So this is what this looks like. It's padded on the bottom and all sides. I don't think there's a specific direction it should, it goes in. It just slips in and I'll just slip it in there. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. I like the yellow because when everything is really bright, it's it's easier to see any any small screws or whatever gets trapped in. Whenever they're black, it's it's way harder to see other gear going inside when you have the the little small pieces. I was looking at the Trek, uh what's the Trek system? I forget. I think that's what they call it. Pelican's Trek system where they have a it's more like a type of styrofoam and then you cut you cut it precisely to the you, the type of gear that you want and then and then it's really lightweight and i th i think that's like the new tech that pelican is trying to push but i've i've read some reviews where once you cut it to what you want it's almost like the pluck foam um once you cut it, it it's harder to reconfigure everything if you're if you're doing a drastic reconfiguration like like i'm doing right now and and it costs a lot more. It's like $130. So every time you do a whole arrangement that messes up the the cuts that you made, you have to buy buy a new one. And also, I was reading that because of the thinness of that technology, it didn't protect the gear as as well as as the traditional foam. Dun da da dun. Here's the big reveal after me packing it in. That's what my configuration looks like right now. As I was working on this, setting this up, uh, I quickly realized that this does not hold as much as my other case or my other uh, Pelican uh, 15 series, 1500 series. This, this is this is pretty small um, for by my standards. But here, here's what I was able to pack in. So up here is just, uh, this is my lens cleaning kit. It's like an Autorama thing. It just one of those kits that just come with other stuff that you buy. I just have it as my lens cleaning kit. On this side, I have one of my Peak Design straps. And then here are two of my camera bodies. This is my main body. Uh, oh, and I know also noticed that 
because the depth of of this case is is not is not that deep so i have to lay things flat i can't lay things top top down so here is my canon r5 my workhorse and this is the grip the official canon grip have it right here on this side then here's my second body this is the r7 canon r7 and both of them have the peak design anchors this is my backup camera um, and if I want to do some video I'll, I'd rather do video on this one because of the unlimited video recording here are my batteries I have two battery chargers this is just the regular Canon battery chargers and I have about four Canon batteries I have a mix of different types these ones are the new ones that came with the R5 and R7 and forgot what these last longer, a little longer than than the OG ones. I wish I could get more of these, but these are quite expensive. Just one of these are around eighty dollars. Moving up here in the middle is my biggest lens. This is my all-purpose twenty-four to seventy two point eight RF lens. This is one of the more expensive RF lenses that you can get. Well, they're all pretty expensive, actually. They're all. They're all over the 2000. So this is not maybe that this is not the most expensive one, but it's up there. And I use this. This could be used for anything. Pretty much anything. A great lens. Up here are my SD cards in the Pelican in a Pelican case. Down here, I, I only have three lenses. I was only able to fit three lenses, but if I was shooting something else, I have more lenses that I, I could fit in. So on the bottom here is the 35 mil RF 35 1.8 surprisingly great lens for a lot of things very affordable uh, considering the RF line and uh, great recommend that lens then I have the absolute favorite lens of mine this is the EF 50 mil 1.2 love this is my favorite Canon lens and because this is an EF, I have two EF to RF adapters here. On this side is the regular EF to RF adapter. And then here is if I wanted to put in some ND filters. So this is the EF to RF adapter with the ND wheel. I guess they're both just for the 50. And then finally, I have this extra pouch here, just like extra camera case but I stuff it with a bunch of accessories. Some cables, USB cables. I have the Bluetooth trigger and just some extra SD cards and uh, or CF card, uh, CF uh, uh, B cards. And that's the that's what I got with, with this kit. Uh, we'll see how it goes. This is gonna be my first run with it and then I'll modify it as I shoot more.